Hey guys, Zerai here. So today I wanted to pretty much confirm the news regarding that I have made a couple days ago, more or less of a rumor that was supposed to be happening that the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita and the PSP PlayStation Store will be closed down. And indeed it is confirmed. Sony just announced this is indeed official. Uh, the stores are no longer going to be operational. Now, it's not all bare bad news because if you have games already installed in your, uh, let's say your PlayStation 3 or Vita or PSP, and maybe let's say you delete those games, so what will happen next? Like for example, uh, you will not be able to access those stores and so what does this, what does this mean? You're gonna lose the games? No, in this case, you actually still will be able to re-download those games again, even after uh, when the, clo uh, the store does close down. And there's actually a whole lot of troubleshoot and the guidance regarding this is, is officially on the PlayStation website. Uh, I will I want to go through it actually right now, but uh, I will leave down links below in the description if you want to go through your own paste. Now, first off, first, we're closing PlayStation Store on the PlayStation 3's console on the 2nd of July 2021 and on the PlayStation Vita devices on the 27th of uh, August 2021. Uh, the remaining purchase functionality of the PSP or PlayStation Portable will also retire on the 2nd of July 2021. So, this case, what uh, the features that you will be able to use after the uh, disclosure of the PlayStation Store and purchased functionality of the PlayStation 3, Vita, and PSP. Okay, so what you still will be able to access, you will still be able to re-download and play previous purchased game titles, you will still be able to access previously purchased video media content, you will still be able to redeem games and PlayStation Plus vouchers, you still will be able to re-download and play claim game titles throughout the PlayStation Plus as long as you remain a member of the service. Now the things that you will lose though, you will no longer be able to purchase PS3, Vita, PSP digital content, including the games or and the video content. You will no longer be able to make in-game purchases through the games, again on PS3, Vita and PSP. And lastly, you will no longer be able to redeem the PlayStation Wallet Fund uh, voucher. Uh, so basically on the PlayStation 3, same thing on those similar devices. Once the store, uh, on the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality of these devices are going to be closed. Once they will be closed, I should have said. I should have said. <laughs> your PlayStation Wallet funds will remain in your PlayStation account, but you will only need uh, be able to use that wallet funds to purchase PS4 and PS5 products on the PlayStation Store on the website and uh, also including the PlayStation app. By the way, this is actually the old version of the store that was ac uh, accessible for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. Well, it has been redesigned for the PlayStation 5 usage. And yes, PlayStation 4 guys are still going to be able to use it, obviously. Uh, but yes, that's also no longer going to be here. It actually was pretty much cancelled. So now the, the website redirects to the newer version of that PlayStation Store, if you guys did not know it. That's also actually news that recently popped up. So. How do I access my own games? And the answer is, you can download your own content into your PlayStation 3 Vita or PSP device by accessing the download list on the respective device. Pretty simple, straightforward, this actually has been done like this since ever. <laughs> okay, I'm only active on PlayStation 3 Vita and uh, PSP device and do not currently own the PlayStation 4 or 5. What will happen to any funds left in the PS, uh, PlayStation Network wallet after this closure? So the answer is your PlayStation wallet funds will remain in PlayStation account, but you will only be able to access the wallet funds to purchase the PS4 or 5 products. And if you are only active on the PlayStation 3 or Vita or the PSP device you, and, don't, and do not use or don't have the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and perhaps you're not planning to buy one, you can still request a refund and receive that money you know, into your bank account, I assume it, of course. They also recommended that if you plan to top up your wallet prior to the store's closure, you're only top up by minimum amount required to buy desired content. We will be updating this page with more details of how to request as such as a refund. Okay, so that's good. At least people are not going to be losing out on the funds. Will I still be able to purchase cross-buy content following the closure of the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality of the PS3, Vita, and PSP? The answer is simple as yes. You still will be able to purchase, cross-buy content, and so on. That's pretty much you know, self-explanatory. Now, here's an interesting one. Will the closure of the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality of these devices have any impact on my PlayStation Plus membership or the PlayStation Now subscription? And the answer is no. This will not be an impact in any way, so that's excellent good news. 
Will the closure of the PlayStation Store purchase functionality of the PS3, Vita and the PSP device have any impact on the title staff claimed through the PlayStation Plus membership? And the answer is again, no. So anytime, whenever you, even if, you know, obviously it's not if, it's definite now, that the store is going to be closing down, you still will be able to access your PlayStation Plus games as well. So that's very good news. Will I still be able to redeem voucher on the PS3, Vita and PSP devices following the closure of the PS, uh, PlayStation Store and purchase functionality? You will still be able to redeem game and PlayStation Plus voucher on the PS3, Vita and PSP devices once the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality of these devices closes. Now, the second bullet point, you will no longer be able to redeem PlayStation Wallet uh, funds voucher uh, for these devices once the PlayStation Store will be closed. And lastly, your PlayStation Wallet funds will remain in your PlayStation account, but you will be able to use uh, your wallet funds to purchase the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 products on the PlayStation Store on the website, PlayStation app, or the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles, uh, the stores in themselves. And lastly, last but not least, will I still be able to uh, download own video content uh, following the closure of the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality of the PS3, Vita, and PSP devices? The answer is yes. You still will be able to download and stream owned video content following the closure of the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality of PS3, Vita, and PSP devices. Video content that you own can be streamed on PS3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 through my video app or on a mobile devices through the PlayStation Video app. That's pretty much the premise of it. Now, uh, there is a little bit more underneath, but I'm not going to get in that. Again, I will leave the links down below in the description for you to do so if you wish. And, uh, you know, I gotta admit, I was actually worried that a lot of people that do not have like a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, they will be pretty much excluded, right? They will not be able to play their games that they have made a purchase digitally. And so many people, and I mean so many, I've seen so many also down in the comments saying, what the fuck, like, you know, this is so much better just to buy a physical per, uh, version of the game. Thankfully, Sony is actually doing something about it and actually meaning that you did not spend your money or wasted your money on a game digitally, even though the store could, whenever it does close it down, so what, we're going to lose the access? You know, personally, to, personally, I think in a couple more years, God, not two years, not even four, four or five, maybe a decade, I'll say, Pleasures in store on the PlayStation 3 is definitely going to lose its function completely. And yes, that's including all the games you will not be able to get or play digitally or re-download them, I should say. Now, it's not—it's a different story with the physical copy. Since you just plug in the disc and can go ahead and play, it's not a problem. You don't need a PlayStation Store for that to re-download the game or do anything about it. You just go with a day zero upload, well, download, I should say, and play, go ahead and play the game. Well, of course, that's again depending on the what kind of game it is. There are some games that can be online only and requires the online connection. Uh, but if there's no pleasure in store and the, I assume as well that the functionality of that was not going to be supported any longer. Again, that's perhaps not a decade well, to wait. The, again, this is very big speculation on my part. So obviously you will not be able to play those certain games too. Only the single player component will work with the pleasure 3. So in a lot of ways they actually devalues the consoles, the older gen consoles um, that people perhaps are still fond of. Right, it does suck, I can agree with that. Now in terms of this news, obviously it's not a good news. It's actually a very quick step in my personal opinion that Sony decided to do this. Maybe they should have waited a little bit, but again, you know, it's now or never perhaps kind of situation. Again, I personally think in my opinion they should have waited a little bit longer, maybe a minimum another two years. But again, maybe they have their own reason. I personally think as well, why is there no compensation? What about the people that uh, you know, they would want to make a purchase and again, like it's it's not like they're losing the money actually you're thinking about that now Yeah, they are losing but there's still uh, There is still a little bit of a minimum funds that they still get from the people that purchase the games or something like a content wise on the version 3 Vita or the PSP They still do get the funds, but now they're no longer going to be able to so they are going to be losing on the cash on that on that part so maybe in this way why perhaps they are not going to give us anything in terms of like a compensation because like they're the ones that are losing on this not us again it sucks but also it's not a really big deal because it would have been a big deal if you would not been able to re-download the games after disclosure but now we know for a fact you will be able to it's not as certain to be like a gigantic problematic thing anymore again that's just my opinion Alright guys, just wanted to update this information, 
before it was more or less of a rumor it was not com completely confirmed news it was just a source talking and basically a report in this case is confirmed information thank you so much for watching like and subscribe and have a wonderful day